Hey everybody and welcome back to Legend of Zelda The Ocarina of Time And I'm gonna try recording this for like a bajillionth time Hey, Ocarina of Time, recorded for the bajillionth time in Stelfos Which we haven't seen in... Well, actually we saw him just a little bit ago Well, recently we've seen him, but not as a kid Never as a kid Which means our sword is not very effective against him And I can't even do the slash while using the shield Ugh but um, you can hit him with Deku Nuts. And that will do just fine, I suppose. But you won't die! You know what? I'm gonna plant bombs. Hey, it worked! Go figure. I mean, bombs are usually the most effective against those things. Anyway, so let's see. Um, are there any boomerang and slingshot and all that good stuff? First, I'm gonna take this guy out. Die! And it's kind of ironic because those. Despite their size, oh, come on. despite their size, they actually are really easy. Only take like one hit to kill, and they're usually pretty stationary. They don't really move around much most of the time, so it's kind of ironic. Hey, you know what I'm gonna say. So in this room, we have a few enemies, and there's oh, ugh, I always think it's the next room. Never mind. In this room, we have a new enemy called an Anubis, which every time it you would try to attack it with your sword, it just hits you with a fireball. So, uh, the phrase fight fire with fire comes into play in this scenario. And you could just use Dense Fire, which is really easy, but if you, don't, if you don't have Dense Fire, which would be pathetically pathetic in this point of the game, or perhaps you're out of magic, which is more likely, um, you can use this switch right here. And as you can see, he mirrors your moves. So, if you just stand over here, press the switch, then you can, uh, burn him into flames. And when I first played this as a kid, I never really even knew that's what that was for. I thought the switch was just like a trap for you to not get into the door. But, you know. Watch out for shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling. And yes, because on a previous take of this I did, I actually got caught by the ceiling master that is in this room. Which, oh, I didn't mean to wake in those keys. So we're going to wait for that thing. Dirty, dirty boy. Wow. Anyway, so, um, you die. Uh, you want to kill these keys on the wall as quick as possible by shooting them through the wall because they can go into the torches on the other side of the room, or on this side of the room once you unlock this gate, which you're going to do. And according to this game, when regular bats fly into fire, they do not burn up as, you know, the original laws of nature would say they would. They just turn into fire keys. So, uh, you wanna watch- oh, come on. You were really close, Link. You didn't, couldn't just reach out and grab the rupee. Couldn't just do that for me. <sighs> also, watch out for this Skatula on the other side of the wall, or the gold Skatula, because it can hit you through the wall. Keys can't, though. Yay! Okay, so, um, keys are gonna flood in here and go to- they're gonna try to turn to fire keys. I guess I can show you that. Um... Okay, I guess he wants to attack me first. But go to the torch. You know you want to. You know what you want to become an annoying fire keys. Or perhaps not. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. And he's a fire keys. And die. So now that we have this part of the room opened, first of all we can get this. My gold Skatula. I reap. Of stuffs. Anyway, so you could just use um, a stick to light that, to light the stick on fire from that torch over there, and let these torches on fire. But we're gonna be lazy and use dense fire because I know I said it's out of style, and it was last week and a few videos ago. But that was a few videos ago, and it's come back in style. Yeah, dense fire is cool now. It's it's hip. It's what the kids are doing these days. It's you know, other words, off the chain, if you prefer that. Um, yeah. And speaking of chains, this door happens to be locked, which is why we had to go through all that trouble to get the small key. Boxes. So, um, no. So unlock that, and I'm pretty sure there's a gold skatula in here. Skull wall tula, skull wall tula again. Ha, it's being crafty. But yes, there is a gold skatula in here that we can get. Quite a few in this dungeon, actually. 
I don't know if that, I don't know if there's a lot of gold skills in here versus the other dungeons, but no, whatever. And of course, I didn't put my boomerang back on. Of course. Either way, we got another Gold Tula. Awesome! Skull Wall Tula, you say? I do not agree with this. I don't agree with you either, good sir. Stop dancing around like a little. Ha! You can't hit us when we have the super shield. Okay, uh. I just ate my words. But oh well. Ooh, stab right where the sun don't shine. Even though he doesn't wear pants, I suppose it does shine there. And speaking of the sun shining, after this. If you guys take. There we go. Now I can do my transition craftily. Speaking of the sun shining, we can, uh, we have to bomb a hole in this wall so the light will hit the sun right here. But you need bomb. Bomb choose. <laughs> yes, I pronounce it bomb choose because as a little kid I could not say bomb choose. I realize it's called bomb choose. It's never been, you know, not lazy enough to change my habits. So, I say bomb choose. But, yeah, fine. Use a, use a bomb chew to get into the next room over here. And, luckily, we bought some from that ripoff guy for 200 useless rupees. There's five useless rupees. And, uh, you know, whatever. There's plenty of ways you can go about getting bomb shoes in this game. Ew! Doors open. Oh, wait, no. We can get the dungeon map here. And just get out your Din's fire. Yes, Din's fire. Okay, I want to stand right where the treasure chest spawns. I'm going to try. I consider it a personal victory to be on top of the treasure chest when it spawns. Ha ha ha! We did it! I'm on top of the treasure chest. Alright, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and get the dungeon map, shall we? Let's persevere. Let's continue on, guys. Come on. Okay, here's another dungeon map that we are likely to not use. But, um... Yeah, you know, dungeon maps do come in handy for the first parts of the temples, so... Or for the first time playing through some of these temples. You know, locating stuff and all that good junk. Hey, look, Gold Skatula over there that we can't get yet. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and continue up this staircase and lead up to another section. Hmm. Ah. So, um, in this part we have to blow up these things first because they're in our way. And we're gonna be going around collecting s Thank you. Going around collecting silver rupees, which is always fun. You know, they do this puzzle all the time. It's like, it's not even that hard. I mean, you just go around collecting the giant gleaming rupees that really stand out a lot. <clears throat> it's like, they have all these useless rupees just laying around. They don't know what to do with them, so they just make them into puzzles. I just picture the producers sitting there, in, like a giant pile of rupees, like, what are we gonna do with all these? Let's make them into puzzles. Oh well. So we're gonna get out a Deku stick and light all these torches around the room. I guess you can go either clockwise or counterclockwise. I don't think it really matters. I'm pretty sure it's equally possible no matter which way you go. And I think I missed one. In my way! I did miss one. Grab this one over here. Uh now we have to go like this one all over again. Oh yeah, I thought I was gonna have to light the other one over again. Whatever, we had to walk over here anyway to get the chest that spawned. Or dropped. We got the big key. Just kidding, small key. So now we have to do a block moving thing, which is annoying because I hate moving blocks. It takes forever. But, you know, you gotta do it. You just gotta do it. Because that's how it works, man. Oh, I just... I just figured out something. You can go faster by pressing B when you're in the mid-push, and you can just run away while it's still moving. Pretty badass. Yeah. I just helped my annoying habit of all well, the annoyingness of block puzzles. 
Welcome, people. I'm pretty sure most people already knew that, by the way. I bet I'm just like some sorry person who didn't even know about that when everybody else did. Anyway, we can get a final ghost tool before the time runs out because we still got like about a half a minute left, so let's go ahead and collect this gold scatula. And I wonder what number it is. Let's check. Let's check. 94! And look at our status screen. We are just plowing through this game. Anyway, that's all the time we have for this video, so in the next part, we are going to get to the first out of two dungeon items in this dungeon. That's right, there are two dungeon, I two dungeon items in this particular temple, so we're going to get the first one and the next part as well as defeat a mini boss that we have not seen yet, so see you then.